Disclaimer, there may be some mispronunciations in this video. Stories of werewolves go as far as history has been recorded, whether it is on paper, stone walls, or oral tradition. Their legends live on. America is no different. There are quite a few different stories of werewolves existing in America, but none quite as known as the Beast of Bray Road. First sighted on a country road near Elkhorn, Wisconsin, USA as early as the 1930s, the beast has been described as a large, 7 to 8 feet tall, intelligent wolf-like creature that roams on its hind legs and has pointed ears, a broad chest, yellow eyes, and has shaggy brown gray fur. There are some people who believe the beast is suspiciously bear-like. It has also been described as using its paws like hands picking up a roadkill by bringing it up to its face. But there is no better way to describe this beast better than telling you of the sightings that have occurred. Here are a few that are the most spoken of sightings of the Beast of Brer Road. The earliest sighting is in 1936 with the eyewitnesses Mark Shackleman. He was a security guard at the St. Caluda Convent. He claimed on the way home from a long night shift he was driving down a stretch of road east of Jefferson County when he noticed one of the Native American burial mounds. He was slowing down a car when he caught a glimpse of a shadowy figure standing near the burial site. The figure was seven feet tall. He pulled the car over to take a closer look when a strange rotting smell hit his nose. The creature was digging into the burial mound looking for something. The sight became too much for Mark Shackleman, who drove off as fast as possible. After thinking about what he had seen for a few days, Shackleman decided to return to the burial site to find evidence. When he got there, he was shocked to see the creature still roaming around the burial site. He got a little closer and saw that it was humanoid with a wolf's head. Its hands and feet looked human, but they had twisted features to their digits. It grunted at Shackleman, but he stared down the creature until it ran off into the nearby wilderness. It was 1.30am in 1989 in fall when a waitress from the bar in Elkhorn was driving home from her shift. Her name was Lori and Rizzi, and she took the infamous street Bray Road. When driving, her headlights reflected back a pair of eyes that belonged to a brownish gray figure that was just under six feet tall. It was eating roadkill and looked up at Lori in the headlights. She could see it had claws, sharp teeth, and a wolf-like face, complete with a snout and pointy ears. It did not flee from the headlights and kept eating the roadkill. Mike Eden was a farmer who in 1990 said he saw something big and furry on Bray Road one night. At first he thought it was a bear, but now that he thought about it, the shape of the head did seem more canine to him. Halloween 1991 Doris Gibson, a high school student at the time, ventured down Bray Road. She thought her car rose up as if she hit something, so she stopped. She got out of the car and examined the road. She was heading back to her car when she saw something huge running toward her. She described it as being tall, furry, and with a wolf head. She got back to her car as quickly as possible, but she claimed that the thing got to her car before she did. There were long claw scratches on the rear of the car to prove it, but she did get away safely. 2006, a local sanitation worker, Steve Kruger, ran into the beast. He was contracted to pick up a dead deer carcass along the roadways. It was a really nice evening. He was driving when he came across a small deer carcass. It was a small 80 pound doe. He threw it into the back of his truck. He got back into his truck and started filling out some paperwork. The truck started to shake and at first he thought it was just the wind, so he continued to fill out the paperwork, but the truck rocked again. This time it felt something really heavy got into the back of the truck. That's when he saw the creature, which was seven feet tall, looked like a large wolf head on top of a bear's body. But he knew it was not a bear. The creature started moving towards the front of the truck, so he hit the gas and drove off. Afterwards, he told the police. The patrols dispatched to the site found no creature about the area. There is one contradictory story that comes from Katie Zahn, who claimed that in July 2004, Rock County, when Katie Zahn and three of her friends were out in the field, when they heard some noises off in the field a couple hundred yards away. The noises began to get louder. They would come to see a creature that was seven to eight feet tall and it was coming towards them, stood and acted as a human would, and it looked like a dog or a wolf. 
They ran back to their cars as fast as they could and drove away. However, other sources wrote that she claimed that to have been traveling through a state park in Rock County when they saw four creatures drinking water from a creek as a human would. Now, I did find some people leaving comments on a video about the Bray Road Beast, stating that Kazan had taken a lie detector test on the matter and failed. I am not sure how solid this information is, but regardless, I did find different tales she supposedly spoke of. Well, after hearing some of these claims, hunters started to flock into the area in search of the beast, but found nothing. Some cryptozoologists say it's another series of Bigfoot sightings, comparing it to the bluff monster or the eddy, while others want to put it under the werewolf category. Others believe that it could be as simple as a misidentified animal such as a wolf, bear, or a mange bear, or a large feral dog. What do you think? Did you like this video? Want to support this channel? Please check out my Patreon page where I create content on cryptids, hauntings, serious killers, alien abductions, and much more. Can't support me there? Support me here by like, commenting, and subscribing.